let's continue our active directory replication session and let's see what we have covered so far so we have seen what is active directory replication features of active directory replication model properties of active directory replication and uh, we have started some of the terminologies and concepts which are used in active directory replication such as active directory sites inter-site replication site link knowledge consistency checker intra-site replication and connection objects so let's see uh, what we have on the agenda today uh, we'll be continue continuing our terminologies and concepts for active directory replication and today we'll be taking a look at site link bridge subnet bridge at server and inter-site topology generator so let's get into the action so let's start with the next session of active directory replication terminologies and concepts and let's look at what a site link bridge is all about so a site link bridge is an active directory object that represents a logical connection between site links it provides a transitive path between two or more disconnected site links a site link bridge can allow domain controllers that are not linked together to replicate with each other so let's take an example over here let's say we have three sites london dubai and sydney and let's say uh, we create a user in our london site so this user to get replicated to sydney first it needs to get replicated to dubai and from dubai it will get replicated over to the sydney domain controllers so this is what happens in a normal scenario if everything is say working absolutely fine but let's say the site link between london and dubai say breaks or something happens to the internet between london and dubai so the london site is completely isolated now so if we create or if we make any changes to any any object in dubai or sydney it will not get replicated over to london or let's say something happened to the site link between dubai and sydney now some say internet went down between dubai and sydney so again sydney site will be completely isolated so if we make changes on london and dubai sites they won't get replicated to sydney or th there might be one more situation say entire dubai say location went down there, there's some catastrophe which happened over there and entire say office went down for some reason so sydney and london will be completely cut off from dubai so in any of the three situations the site link bridge comes to our rescue so as a good administrator what we will do is we'll create a site link bridge between our london office and sydney office so even if the london dubai site link goes down the london site won't be say left alone the replication will happen over the site link bridge and same thing if our dubai sydney site link goes down the replication will take care the site link bridge will take care of the replication between dubai london and sydney and if again the dubai office goes down or something happens to the entire dubai office so the site link bridge will take care of the replication between london and sydney so this is the importance of site link bridge so let's move on to the next concept and that is subnet 
So a subnet is a segment of TCP IP network to which a set of IP addresses are assigned. Subnets group network resources in a way that identifies their physical proximity on the network. And subnet objects in Active Directory domain services identify the network addresses that they are used to map network resources to sites. So every site will have its own subnets or it can have more than one subnets as well. So it's somewhat like this. So we have two sites, Sydney site and London site and every site will have its own say, subnet. So Sydney site is 10.108.00 slash 16 and London site, the subnet for London site is 172.20.0.0 say slash 16. So every site will have its own unique subnet. So let us understand what a bridgehead server is all about. So a bridgehead server is a domain controller that is designated to send and receive replicated data at each site. So a bridgehead server from the originating site collects all the say, replication changes and then sends those replication changes to the other bridgehead server on the other Active Directory site. So let's take an example over here. So we have two sites, Sydney site and London site. So this domain controller is a bridget server for London. So all the information or all the replication from all the London domain controllers will be collected by this particular domain controller and it will be replicated to our Sydney bridget server. So the replication between Sydney office and London office or Sydney site and London site will be uh, say done between these two domain controllers and that's the reason they are called as bridgehead servers. So let's jump into the next concept that is intersite topology generator or ISTG. So a single domain controller in each site is automatically designated as intersite topology generator. So the name suggests that it will generate intersite topology. So this intersite topology generator is an interactive directory process that uh, say defines the replication topology so between the active directory sites. So, because this action is performed by intersite topology generator, we are not required to take, say, any action to determine the replication topology and the bridget server rule. So, this ISTG will define the bridget servers in our site and it will also define the active directory replication topology between the sites. So this, the domain controller that holds in, uh, say in the ISTG role performs the following two per se functions. So it automatically selects one or more domain controllers to become bridget servers. So we don't have, there is no manual intervention over here. And this way, if a bridget server becomes unavailable, it automatically selects another bridget server if possible. And it runs the knowledge consistency checker to determine the replication topology and resultant connection objects that a bridget server can use to communicate with, say, other bridget servers in the site. So the whole purpose behind this ISTG is to create or to d designate servers in a site, in a particular site as bridget servers and define the inter-site replication topology. So let us summarize what we have say seen today. So we continued with Active Directory replication to say terminologies and concepts. So we saw what is a site link bridge is. We saw what is a subnet is. We saw bridge at server and inter-site topology generator. 
So in our next session, we'll be performing the labs now for Active Directory sites and services. So we'll configure a Windows Server as a router. We'll configure Sydney site and uh, in that Sydney site, we'll configure IP subnet, we'll configure site link and we'll move our Sydney domain controller to Sydney site and we will test the Active Directory replication. Hope you have enjoyed today's session. Thanks for joining. And if you feel this channel is helping you to learn anything new, please subscribe and share this channel with your technical community. And have a great day.